Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. Today I have a Bath and Body Works haul. It is from two weekends. I have my body care weekend haul, um, and then I also have from Easter, they did another 40% off. I filmed the day before Easter, and I was like, yeah. And then they did the 40% off the next day, which was great, because I got some of the Bridgerton collection. So I wanted to show you all of that. Spoiler, I did not get the three wick candle holder of the crown. I really want that. I want at least two of them because I have two or three of the single wick and I absolutely love them. Uh, and so I want the matching ones. I wanted three wicks back in the day and I, I haven't found them yet. The problem with the 40% off on Easter it was it was only online. So you could only get what was available online and it was unfortunately not available online. I also took advantage of a couple of the flash sales that they did on Easter. They had one in the morning and one in the evening, and I ended up buying something during both of those flash sales. So let's get into it. Before I start though, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And please let me know what you picked up or what you are looking forward to picking up between now and SAS, or maybe even during SAS. What are you looking for in June? Yeah, let me know what, what you're looking forward to. I know they're I heard they're bringing back Firecracker Pop and I'm excited about that and hopefully they'll bring, we'll have some other good ones. I'm, I'm hoping for beach nights. I need some beach nights in my life. Starting with this, what's on the top of this, I got two of the sponges. What are these? I don't, they're body puffs. That's what I call them. I call them body puffs. I know they have like a sponge. Uh, so it's a polyurethane mesh with silicone handle. I'm not sure how I feel about the handle. We'll see how it goes. I don't like these, I feel like, as well as the other ones they used to have. So I might, after these, just stick to my Eco Tools ones, which is what I normally use. But I used to love their body puffs back in the day. But I'm not sure how I feel about these. Let me know what your thoughts are. Have you tried them? How are they doing? I feel like they're a little too squished together, like a little too tightly bound. I'm a little worried about that. But I did pick up two of these. They are normally $4.95. I did not have an extra 25% off the second time. Unfortunately, it was just 40% off, but at least I remembered to get them this time, unlike the week before when I was like, oh, I should have gotten those. I was trying to just do an online order, but some of the items ended up, I had to go and pick them up in store because as I was checking out, they were selling out online and they were available in store. And then I did have one of my things that was canceled in the store as well. We'll get to that in a minute. But I did pick up the teapot for a uh, pocket back holder. It does say uh, Bath and Body Works and Bridgerton. It's cute. Like cameos are something I have loved my entire life. So I wanted to get the one with the cameo. I don't know if I'll actually use this one. This isn't really my speed for what I want to put on my purse. But I thought this one was super cute and I would definitely, you know, wear or use this on my purse so this is the I think they called it a sweater but it's definitely a jacket and vest uh, with the little tails on the back so I did pick up two of those one to have for my collection and one for you know use I I'm a huge 18th century fan so when Bridger did came out it's it's a little hard to watch because it is somebody described it as historical fantasy one of the costume uh, and historical outfits ladies that I watch she's from Poland she's amazing um, but she was like it's historical fiction and I was like that's that's how our historical fantasy and I was like that's how I have to think about it because like the costumes a lot of them are definitely not accurate um, all the diversity is obviously not accurate so thinking about it as historical fantasy instead of like what actually 18th century looked like was helpful and once I got past that I, I did enjoy it and I love I do like Bridgerton I like the books I think a little better but um, I picked up two of the carriages because uh, even if they weren't Bridgerton I'd probably still pick them up because they look very 18th century they are not Halloween which is why I like them also because there's been some cool Halloween stuff but I don't I'm really into the skeletons and ghosts and zombies and all of that so I liked these ones better which is why I picked up the wallflower this is, has the little bee on it, has the purple flower. I know this is similar to the one with the spider. I hate spiders. I There's been so many spiders on social media lately, like people posting pictures of spiders or pictures of snakes, and I keep like trying to hide them because I'm like freaking out 
as I'm just scrolling and so no notice spiders I don't like spiders and then I loved the teacup wallflower as well so cute and it looks like there's actually tea in there uh, tea without milk though that that's a little little odd for uh, you know the Brits they usually have some milk with their tea um, and so yeah there we we got that one too. The last wallflower I got was the chandelier because this one was also really stunning. I forgot to tell you prices on all of these. They were quite expensive. This one is $32.95, not worth $32.95. I was much happier with 40% off. $24.95 for the bust. I think this was the cheapest wallflower at $19.95. I did not get the crown because the crown looks to be the same as the crown that I already have. And I did buy a couple of those back when they did them because I loved them. Like I said, that whole crown collection was really into, so didn't need that one. These were $8.95. I think all the pocket backs were $8.95. Yes, $8.95 for this one and $8.95 for the teapot as well. There uh, were two flash sales that occurred at the same time as all of this was going on. So the one, I picked up the diamond of the season. These were $5.50. So I picked up the body cream because it was just body creams and sprays. That's what it was. So I picked up that and then I also picked up the spray because I knew both of those were ones that I wanted to get. And I also, during the evening, they had a, maybe was were they both in the evening? Mine have both been in the evening. I picked up the Danbury shortbread. The notes on this are whipped uh, whipped vanilla almonds and sugar crystals. These were $12.95. I like it. I don't know if I'm going to burn it. It's pretty strong. It reminds me a lot of the almond croissant. There's like a cinnamony type note in there or there's like a spice in there. But I wanted at least two of the candles. And I'm glad I got this one instead of the, like the tea or the, the study I kind of liked, but I would not want to burn that. So I didn't get that one. And then the other one was the garden and that wasn't really my thing. So this was the closest, but I would say diamond of the season is my favorite scent of all of them. The one that I'm most drawn to. And I forgot to tell you notes. So we have sparkling peach, spring daffodil and radiant jasmine. It's mostly peach, but it has like some floralness to it. It's nice. I do enjoy it. When I put in my order in the morning, I tried to get this. It was already, I had everything set up in my cart the night before because I knew the 40% off was coming. Um, so I, before I went to bed, did that so that I could just hit checkout in the morning. But this was not ringing, was not showing on sale. In my cart, it was not showing on sale either. I know some people were like, oh, if you just checked out, it did. But I'm not gonna chance that. It was the mirror, oh my gosh. Um, so we have the mirror and then it has the little tray here. It's not the largest tray. Like if you put two of these items in here, it's pretty much, you might be able to get a third item in here, but it's not, it's not a very large tray. That is for sure. Sure. But it was very pretty. It was $34.95 normally. So definitely needed to get it 40% off. And it's one thing I was a little disappointed with is it's not all jewels. So, so this is a jewel, but this is just like a faceted, um, the metalwork. So it's not jeweled all the way around, which, was kind of a bummer to me, but I'm just glad that I got it because it was one of the things that I was most looking for from the collection. The rest of this is in a Christmas bag because they came in the box and one of these leaked some in the box, so I uh, did not keep the box around. But these are all the soaps that were, I think, $2.95 during the flash sale in the morning. So I picked up Danbury Shortbread, wanted to have at least one other from this collection. I do have the gel and the foaming in Diamond of the Season. Then I picked up this one. This is Chasing Daydreams. This smells really interesting. It is bright orange zest, glowing magnolias, and sparkling sun rays. It's nice. It's pleasant. I love the packaging. I think they did a beautiful job on it. I, the, they, they really pop. Like the flowers really pop with that gray. I feel like better than the other ones. I mean, this is pretty enough. This is the pink kiwi berry sweet kiwi candied citrus and sunny orchids i don't know where the berry is coming from this one's just okay i did pick up two because i was thinking oh it's going to be really good it's not really good it's okay i don't think i'm going to pick it up again but it's it's there and then one of these was the one that was leaking um but 
not like a whole bunch, you know? Like the lines are about the same, so I didn't call them on it or anything. This is Pineapple Prosecco. I think this is the ugliest packaging of the three. Um, the, the flowers don't really look like flowers so much, but I did pick up two because this smells so good. Sparkling Pineapple, Bubbly Prosecco, and White Nectarine. Love it. I've had Pineapple Prosecco before and I love it every time. And then I picked up three of this one. This is Sparkling Watermelon. It is Watermelon Juice, Bubbly Freesia, and Sliced Cantaloupe. It's the same as in the candle and I knew I really liked the scent of the candle. So I picked up three while I was at it because I didn't know if they would make it to Sass and I didn't know if they would do another sale quite that good. If you remember right, I still have two Fragrance Mists to exchange. I want to exchange them for Apple and then probably um, the blue one, the Horizon of the Luxuries, whatever the Luxuries collection is called. But I have another thing that I get to go and exchange or hopefully, I don't even know if they're going to have it, but I have a defected product. It's a scrub. I should have known, right? I should have known. Uh, this is the Thailand Sweet Kiwi and Starfruit Exfoliating Beach Body Scrub. I'm hoping they still have some of these. I put in a buy online, pick them up in store, order for three of these. I picked up this one and I picked up a second one and I'm going to use this one that's nice. Um, I was so excited. They're sealed. I was like, yes, they're not going to leak. We're good. Uh, I don't have to worry about them this time. But the third one I picked up was Clipso Clementine and I was like, oh, this one is not sealed. So I do have to worry about this one. The notes on this one are Juicy Clementine, Neroli Nectar, and Coastal Woods. I feel, felt like a scrub would be a good way to tr test out the fragrance more so than e even some of the other things because that uh, the woods is what is b bothering me or making me nervous because I usually exude woody scents. But that's what plays, the, plays on my skin the most. Anyway, so I got this one and I was like, oh, I don't have a lot of room in this drawer that I'm getting ready to film. So I put them upside down which would be fine because they have the seal. They're not going to leak, except this one is not caught at the top. So it leaked out and I had all this goo in the drawer. Luckily I had it in my file cabinet. I have like a drawer where I put all the stuff I want to film in it and it was in the trough and nothing else was in the trough. Everything kind of straddled the trough. So it didn't get on anything else. So I didn't have to clean up that mess. I just had to clean it out of the filing cabinet. Um, and off my hands because I unfortunately grabbed this by the top. So I need to exchange this one because it's lost a lot of its liquid. And um, I, you know, they didn't seal it right. It's it's leaking up there. Now I just got some more on my hand. Now it's on my chair. That's probably wasn't smart. But um, yeah, need to exchange this one, which is disappointing. I should tell you the notes. The notes are Golden Kiwi, Juicy Star Fruit, and Solar Woods. I was so excited to see they made this in a scrub because this smells so good. I'm burning this candle currently and I have the, a couple of the body care and I'm so excited for them. I don't think they made it into a lotion though, if I remember right. Yeah, craziness. So I picked up those during the $5.95 uh, sale. Unfortunately, I was not in a location that was doing the $4.95 or the $5.50. What's up with that, Bath & Body Works? Like, get your act together. We don't want to play games. It's not cute or fun that you have different prices for different places or sales in some places and not the other places. Or if you go into the store, it's cheaper than if you order it online or vice versa. Like you are a big corporation. You have everything else priced the same. Get your act together. Okay. Um, anyway, what else I picked up? Uh, I did those three buy online pick up in store because I wasn't sure if they would be available when I got into the store and the rest of it I was kind of like I'm going to I want to smell some things. I did pick up the rest of the Bridgerton collection. So I got the Diamond of the Season in the body wash and in the lotion. I noticed that some of these were not the labels were quite off center. So I wanted to make sure I got some that were on center cuz th these are the, I'm the weirdo who's going to keep these bottles afterwards even though they're empty like I do I've been doing with my American Girl stuff. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. So I picked those up and the other thing that I picked up that was actually body care was Oh Cherry. I was going to exchange one of the two 1895 fragrances that I have, but they only had five of this one left and I was like, I don't know if it's going to stick around. So I was like, I'll pick it up. I don't 
don't know what to think about this one. It's not Lost Cherry. I will say it's not Lost Cherry. It smells similar to Lost Cherry, but it's definitely not Electric Cherry either. Like Electric Cherry is bright and vivacious, and this is not quite there. It's it's kind of a mix of the two. You don't have that booziness of the Lost Cherry, but it's not it's not Electric Cherry either. So definitely not one of those two, and it's not Cherry Smoke. Um, but I have it's oh. It's okay. We're gonna wear it. I haven't worn it on my skin, given it a good try. It is black cherry, sheer magnolia, and tonka bean, but I love cherry scents. So once I knew that it wasn't lost cherry, I was like, I'm gonna get it and try it and be happy that I got it. So the rest of this haul is gonna be uh, shampoo and conditioner because I was very excited that they were $5.95. I've decided that I really just wanna use Bath & Body Works as long as possible. And I have some other things that I'm going to rotate through, but I want to like every other bottle, I want Bath and Body Works. So I picked up a few that I don't know how long they're going to be around. First up is Costa Rica Pink Pineapple Sunrise. I was really excited about this and there was a lovely gal that helped me because I had no idea where they were keeping the shampoo and conditioner. Oh, so good. I was like, where are these? And so she helped me see where they were on the side, like weird side shelves. And then also um, on the back of one of the tables up front, they had one of this in the front on that back side of the table. And I was like, oh, do you have any of the conditioner? And she's like, well, let's look over here. No, over a dozen bottles of the shampoo, no conditioner. And I was like, oh. Okay, well, I guess I won't get it because I want the conditioner with it. And I could use Waikiki Beach Coconut, I guess, because that was like the opposite. They had a whole bunch of conditioner but no shampoo. And she said, well, sometimes they don't even send us them in equal parts, which I get like maybe not 100%, but they should be like fairly close in their inventories, right? So I was wandering around and I found the little tropical section, like one of the square tiers, and there was one one conditioner stuck with like three shampoos and I was so excited and as I was leaving I was like I found one I found the last one and she's like oh my gosh can't believe you found it and I was like yep so I was very excited about that the notes on this are sweet pink pineapple palm sugar and sun dress drenched nectar this is like the third year they brought this back but um it's it's a good one it is a nice sweet pineapple I'm very much looking forward to this shampoo and conditioner. So I picked up that one. Then I picked up Fruity Infusion. The notes on this are crisp apple, juicy apricot, and dewy sandalwood. The packaging is very confusing because it's apples and pears. I don't really see apricots unless that's supposed to be an apricot, but that's very definitely a pear. I liked the scent of this one. It is different. Um, It smells like pear to me. Uh, so I would say this is like an apple pear type of a scent. Anyway, I think this is part of like their permanent hair care line. Um, or they're trying to do some scents that were just in shampoo and conditioner. I don't know. But I didn't feel as like urgent about that one or floral fields or vanilla, whatever the vanilla one is. I was not a big fan of the vanilla. The floral fields was nice, but I decided that I was trying to keep my purchases under 10 items. I did nine plus the three that I did the buy online pickup and store. So I was like, I don't, I don't want to get 13 or 15 items. So I ended up with 12. So that's, that was okay. Um, and then the last set that I got was the apple and it is apple, strawberry and rain. I, I really like this. This reminds me of like, I think it was white rain shampoo that I ha my parents bought as a when I was a kid because it was super cheap. Uh, that was that was the whole thing. And we had like some apple shampoo and conditioner. And so I like this one. I want to exchange one of my uh, sprays that I need to exchange. I need to get going on that too um, for an apple spray. And then the other one, like I said, on the horizon. So that is my plan right now. But but then I messed up and I ordered wallflowers last night and I ordered them. I somehow changed the, like I came back and it had reverted from the store that I was going to pick them up that carries this line because only one of my stores carries this line. So 
I was like, oh, I'll just pick them up there and I'll do my exchange. No. Send them to the to another one. And I don't think they're going to have the scrub. So I think I'm going to have to go to three different stores to do everything, to pick up my order, to do my exchanges. <laughs> I, I, I messed up big time. Anyway, let me know what you picked up. Let me know if you have tried the hair care, if you like the hair care. I should tell you why I like the hair care. I like the hair care because the conditioner is really thick. It feels like it really coats the hair well and like, I don't know. I just, I like that it's not watery. Some of the conditioners that I have been using lately have been a little on the watery side, which I'm not a fan of. And then the shampoo, I feel like really gets in there. My scalp doesn't feel itchy when I'm using it in between washes. Like sometimes I feel like, oh, I just, I need a scalp scrub. I don't feel like I need to use a scalp, scalp scrub when I'm using the Bath and Body Works. So I really, really enjoy it. And I love the scents too. They just, they make me happy. So let me know if you purchased anything during these sales, what you are most looking forward to in the coming couple months. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time.